All right, so I got uh, a Mercury Thunderbolt 500. It's a 50 horsepower engine. And um, got it, picked it up from a guy pretty cheap. But um, I'm going to check it, completely check it out. And um, I thought I would do a multi-part series because I'm going to do a complete teardown um, with this guy. So I guess to start it, what I want to do is I'm going to do a compression test and test all these cylinders and see if they're in, if they're good. Um, so I've got and I kind of need to make some room here. Um, I've got uh, the battery hooked up and I've got a remote switch. Still have a remote switch uh, set up. So I'm not real worried about the lower unit getting water. I'm just going to go ahead and pressure. I'm going to do a test on these cylinders and see what they look like. So. <clears throat> So see how where I'm at for rebuilding because there's some things like this pin right here It's uh, somebody knocked it in they might have mushroomed it. I've got another towel uh, That I can put on it if I need to uh, But I gotta get that fixed and I'm gonna replace this cow anyway because um, <laughs> I guess at one time the water uh, the tube coming over and it comes out this pee hole right here was clogged or something so they inst the easy way they fixed it was they drilled a hole in this cow and ran another tube in there so dumb but they did that and also I guess it's possible to go ahead and tap here and run water out but it's not really right and these bolts look a little disfigured, so I'm wondering if we have an issue there. So I'm going to have to pull this off, and I already have once, and there's a little brass fitting. Sorry, there's a little brass fitting in there, and that brass fitting is all monkeyed up. So probably take the, this plate off, but I want to just check it anyway, um, just to see um see how it how it is so here we go Man, that didn't even, didn't even seem like it helped it we have to get some rpms going here Showing really low. Can't imagine that's right though. This thing, I'm not crazy about. It. I bought this at Harbor Freight. And I'm not crazy about it. So it's showing low compression, but so I checked him, but I'm not sure about my compression tester. I don't think it's working properly. So I don't have the right connections. I could hook it up to my compressor and see what it's coming out as. And I tried that, but I don't have the right like some kind of connectors to go between uh, to do that so just gonna have to go with it they're all showing like 60 pounds of pressure but I think that's not correct um, so I think what I'll do is just go ahead and tear it down take it apart catalog it 
clean the carbs, all that stuff. I did discover it had a bad switch box. I have another switch box. I already installed it because I thought I would just see if I could fire it up. And the more I thought about it, it's like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and just tear it all the way down and uh, see what it all looks like. I think I'll do a multi-part series on that. So, first thing it'll be to do is, uh, you know, take out the shrouds and um, get me some bags and I'll go ahead and see that finally fell off. That's this piece right here. Anyway, I'm not trusting that. So, disconnect it from the battery. Start getting her done. Turn a couple bags for bolts. off that I set up. I like to take all the bolts and put them back where they came from. And then what I don't know about, then I'll put it in my bag. Alternator, oh, hot lead, uh, let's see here, five sixteenths, side there's another bolt it's a half inch bolt there's two on the bottom there's two on the bottom and this one you can't get a you can't really get you gotta use the a box wrench those back in whenever I get get to
This is the choke. I kind of just made this up. Try and start it. It's got a little pin. Get some bags. Uh, anyway, pull the pin. back on these. ground wire off the solenoid and the ground wire off the shroud. So I'll we'll just go back. Stick that back on there. Now 5 16 This is going to go over to the distributor. So I could leave it hooked up since I'm pulling it all. I'm gonna just I'm gonna undo it. It's not five six inches. What is it? one first. Pull this out. Seriously? Switch. Now we take these off. So this is red. It's going to go top post, which is red. Just loosen that dude up. that back on so I know where it goes so I'll lose it 
So then the middle one, this is black, going to blue. That comes from the distributor. So basically, there's a little magnet in the distributor and it turns, it tells that energizer to send signal to there, which is basically probably like a sine wave. And then here's the white. And it just tells it when to fire so the coil is not just engaged all the time. I mean, it's milliseconds, but it's sending pulses. my green wire that goes to the coil. This screw right here, this screw's head, that's your ground. screw back in it. Alright, so they've got the old style voltage regulator. And um, I'm going to take this off. it with a rectifier it's just a lot more efficient but 
put stress on that. So that gets your front plate off. 